welcome uh, to this uh, demo about uh, on a web part that I implemented to uh, show you how to use the uh, Flint UI team variant uh, inside the web part. So let me share some information about me. I'm Max of MVP in office development and business application. And uh, I work uh, as senior consultant on Microsoft 365 and Power Platform uh, technologies. So you can find here some information if you want to contact me by email or Twitter, LinkedIn. OK, so let's start. So in this slide, you can see uh, two, in two screenshots that come from the SharePoint lookbook. And uh, I market uh, two web parts because uh, when I uh, take a look at the lookbook, I really impressed impressed on the possibility to highlight some uh, content inside the web part. So for me, it's very important when I build uh, some uh, internet for my clients to highlight uh, the content of the web parts because uh, some clients want to make uh, more focus uh, in uh, some web part and less focus to another web part. And uh, of course, there are many ways uh, you can use uh, by, uh, by write your code on a background image, for example, or you can use the section background to change the background and then the web part inside this section uh, have on a different, for example, uh, background. My web part, my demo, it's uh, an, uh, an exercise to how to use the Fluent UI variation, not only inside the uh, section uh, page, but inside the web part. And this implementation, it's uh, implemented in uh, three different ways. So in all uh, these cases, this example works uh, very well uh, with uh, the, the Fluent UI React control, of course. If you don't use the Fluent UI uh, React controls, uh, of course, the variation uh, it's applied on the background and some HTML element uh, like text or something like that. And of course, you can use the uh, team object to take all the property that the, the team have to take the background color, the accent color, the text color, or something like that. So the first way, it's uh, uh, the simple way. Take the current uh, section variation color. Uh, if I select inside this web part, uh, these settings inside the uh, property pane, uh, nothing appears. So the background and the color come from the section, uh, the section variation. But there are a second way. And then you can select the current SharePoint theme. If you select this uh, value, you have another option. And now you are able to select the variation of the current SharePoint theme. For example, known or neutral or soft or strong. It's the same variation that you, you have for the section variation. But at this time, the uh, variation is applied inside, uh, inside the web part. And you can see. Uh, if I select a strong, uh, you see that background, it's, uh, it's green. It's the same accent color I have inside the, the team applied to this side. The third way, it's uh, the possibility to use uh, an, a custom palette that comes from the uh, Fluent UI team designer. Later, I show you this tool, but uh, basically, you are able to uh, define some colors and then generate an JSON that contains the palette color for uh, an affluent UI theme. So by select custom and then use uh, this fluent UI uh, custom palette uh, property, you are able to set the custom palette. And then again, you are able to change from uh, known, neutral, soft, and strong uh, variation. Of course, uh, don't worry about the, the content of this web part because it's just some fluent UI components just to, to, to test uh, this, uh, this behavior. So if you don't know the Fluent UI Team Designer, uh, it's uh, on a free tool uh, that you are able to use at the browser. Uh, you are able to uh, select the primary color, the text color, the text color, and the background color, and then automatically this tool generate the, uh, the theme that you can uh, export as a JSON or code or PowerShell. In this case, uh, we need the, just the JSON file, uh, so the JSON text, and then copy and paste inside the property of, uh, of the web part. So just a simple, a simple demo. This is a, a, a simple page that contains uh, a section with two columns. 
of course, if uh, I change the section background, you're able to see that the, the web part, so this is a, a simple text web part, and this is my, my web part. This web part uh, take the color of the, of, the, uh, of the section. But if you select the web part, you are able to change to the current SharePoint team. And then again, we are able to change the uh, variation just for this web part. And the last way, the third way, it's uh, the custom. You are able to copy and paste uh, on a custom uh, team and then change the variation just so the variation that come from this uh, custom uh, custom team. Now the implementation. The implementation uh, start uh, with uh, the enable support for the team variants inside the web part manifest. You know that you have to put these uh, supports team variants uh, true inside the manifest to enable your web part to support the team variants. The next thing is you need to manage the team variant inside your web part. There are some code that you have to, to, to implement. Basically, you need to uh, take the team service and the team provider. The third variable is the, the team variant, the variation, the current variation for the web part. And then a good uh, thing to do is to manage the uh, theme changed event, because uh, uh, later I show you that uh, we need to re-render the web part, because in the render method, we calculate uh, the, the variation for the team inside, uh, uh, inside this web part. The core of this uh, example is the team service.ts. It's uh, an, uh, a class, a TypeScript class that contain all the code that we need to generate the team with all the property that this web part has. For example, uh, the, the, the type of the variation, known, neutral, soft, or strong, and of course, the type of team that we want to, to use, the current team, the variation that comes from the section or the generated team from the palette, the JSON file. Then in the render method, we need to uh, generate by using this uh, generate team method of the team service class, we need to generate the current team. And then when we have this object, we pass this team, it's a, a team variant, to the React control or the component that you want to, to to use to render your web part, of course. Some uh, information regarding the uh, property pane. So I used some PMP property control, like the property field code editor to manage the, uh, the JSON part of uh, the team uh, in, if you select the, the team type custom. And for the selection of the background uh, shading, I use the property pane choice group. Uh, with uh, a way to generate dynamically an SV SVG image as a background to highlight the different background for each variation. And then I use, uh, again, another console from the PMP property control. It's the property pane field message to show an, uh, just an info to the user to remember if select the custom team type to use the team designer to generate uh, the team. So, just uh, on a simple example of the code for manage the, the property pane the background uh, shading. The first part, it's a uh, method that we have inside the, the, the class of uh, the web part, the generating line SVG for background shading type that uh, have uh, an, a type uh, as a parameter. And basically we calculate, based on the type, we calculate the current team and then generate an SVG inline image. And this basically, it's uh, uh, the image that you can see inside this slide, the, uh, the text AA and the background on, and the foreground with different colors. And then in the property pane configuration, I generate the inline SVG for known, neutral, soft, and strong variation, and then use this uh, text for the image source for each uh, options in the property pane choice group. The last thing is you need to remember to use the team provider control to automatically apply the team to all the control that you use. So there is nested on the team provider inside your React control. 
It's very important because in this way, by passing the, our uh, team variant property to the team parameter of the uh, team provider, uh, the team provider automatically apply the theme, the current theme, uh, to all to all Fluent UI component that you have inside your uh, main controller when you use this uh, uh, team provider. Okay, so uh, some some references. Uh, the first of the first one is the the web part the URL. So it's the the URL of the repo when you are able to find this uh, this web part source code. The references to the PMP properties controls, and the reference to the Fluent UI scheme utilities. It's an NPM package that you can add to your code to your project. And uh, this package contains all the utility to generate the different variation from uh, a specific uh, Fluent UI theme. So thank you, and back to David. Awesome. Thank you, Fabio. Very, very cool stuff. Appreciate you sharing that thank with you. us in the community. Thank you.